Okay, welcome back. Um, I guess we're going to start doing the Thanksgiving feast, if you will. Uh, yeah, it's a couple days early, but that's just when I want to start seasoning my bird and, and, and let it kind of marinate. No, I said marinate because I do not uh, – I don't believe in brining. I, I've never brined a turkey before. I, maybe that makes me bad. We don't, I've never heard of anyone doing that until I moved away from the south, to be quite honest with you. I, uh, I've always fried them anyway, but I inject my birds with uh, Creole butter. And then I'll baste it, and I'll, I'll show you how I'll make the, the base or the, the, the outside layer, if you will. Um, I used to, again, I used to fry them. When I moved from the south, when I first moved to Ohio, we're in an apartment, and there was no place to set up a fryer, so I didn't do it, and I just did what I normally would and baked it and loved the results. I'm not a huge turkey fan at all. I do not like turkey generally, other than, like, cold cuts for sandwiches. I don't normally like the roasted, baked, whatever you want to call it. Um... But this method works out really, really well, and I've I've always I've liked it since I started doing it. So I figured I'd share it. Maybe you guys can try it if you want. If not, that's okay too. If anything, it's interesting. So let's see what we do to set up the uh, actual outer layer, if you will. The little ninja cuppy. First thing I do is put a whole lots and lots of garlic in there, and we're gonna. That's broken up. We're going to put a whole stick of butter in it. The whole stick. Not half the stick. Not a quarter of the stick. The whole stick. Because that's a big ass bird. I would normally use um, Sucky Mama for this. But the people that I'm cooking this for don't like a lot of pepper. And Sucky Mama has a little too much pepper for them. The last time I cooked with it, I noticed they weren't really thrilled. So I use the uh, no salt Tony's, which is less pepper in it, and other I think it has more paprika and some other other seasonings. I guess it's uh, different flavors. They they like this better, and I noticed that. So we're gonna put a good bit of that in there. What we're basically making is a slight version of this to go on the outside of the bird. Set that on the side, and we'll get the bird started. Fun, fun. We'll chop the vegetables first. Let's do that. Vegetables for it, we're basically using Ameripois, uh, some celery, some carrot, some onion. Use whatever you have on hand, really. I just want that extra um, the extra moisture from this to come off. I don't like putting stuffing in a turkey. I've done it before, and I've never – I just don't like it. I, I don't know why. I can't explain it. But I put the vegetables in to keep the moisture up so that the uh, skin doesn't – or the uh, – so prevent it from drying out, you know. Um, as far as stuffing goes, I prefer dressing. I'm from the South. Come on now. And I like uh, an oyster dressing. I'm not going to do that this year. Um, I don't, not, don't trust the uh, oysters I saw. But what I am going to do is a corn. My wife calls it corn dressing or cornbread casserole. I call it corn pudding. Call it what you will. It's delicious. Uh, I'm also going to do a green bean artichoke dressing. Um, don't know that I showed that on here. I'll record that, though. Um, and that's, that's what, that's going to be my contribution to Thanksgiving dinner, the bird and the two dressings. Anyway, let me get back to the birds. We can finish this off and get this in the fridge to, uh, sit up till we go to cook it tomorrow. For the twine to truss it, you're going to want a good bit of it. So I, I have a big roll of baker's twine here and I just cut quite a bit. I'd rather have too much than not enough. I can cut the excess off later. So we're going to just sit that on the side and then we're going to go wash up the bird and get it ready to play with I want to mess with your kids. So the kids at the neck is the turkey's penis. We had fun with that just now. Anyway, first thing we're going to do is trust the bird. This is uh, something I kind of suck at, <laughs> to be honest. Again, I fry turkeys most of the time, and you don't, trust a, you don't trust them to fry them. So bear with me while I try to remember how this works. Um, so you loop the rope. You come... Down the back, you hook it. Let's see. You gotta hook it underneath the little nubby nub that's left down there at the bottom. Uh, so let's throw a piece for the, where the neck was. Pull it tight. All right, I'm gonna pull it tight, and then we're gonna tie a knot right there. But we're gonna loop it three times instead of two times. So one, 
two, three, pull it as tight as you can. And then we're gonna loop it two more times, make another loop with two two straps, two two stretches to it. One. Two. Let's tie that nice and tight. Now that's not gonna go anywhere. So now we're gonna take these pieces of the rope, go wrap around this leg, pull it back, wrap around this leg, pull that back. When we go to the back, we're gonna fit it right in between the little wing nuggets right here on both sides. And then we'll flip it over. Oh, a big ass fucking bird. Flip it over and loop it. One, two, three. Set shut. One, two. Set that shut. Come right back here. Well, this isn't going to be centered, but if we can center it. All right, now, while it's out, I'm going to go ahead and put some of the veggies in there. I'm going to shove a carrot, grab that tricky butt, carrots, onions, I love my onions, I want those inside the tricky butt, or just call it the turkey hole, yeah, inside the turkey hole, celery, just some aromatics, you know, some pan. Put the bird in there. This can go on the sink to get washed. Back of the turkey. You want the fat part of the turkey. Take your juicy juice. Shake it up real good. Fattest part. Shove it in there. And squeeze. If you notice, there's still a little bit of liquid in there. Every time I pull it out, I don't want air in my bird. I just want... This Creole butter in there. Fattest part, bam. And just do this every so often around the bird. You want as much of this in there as you can. You usually have a little bit left over, unless you have one of these big giant 22, 24 pound birds. If you look real close, you can see it kind of makes like a little bubble. It's all that beautiful liquid in there. And I'm doing this on Tuesday. I'm going to cook this tomorrow on Wednesday. I want this to sit up overnight. You kind of all look big, you see, guys. That in there. There you go. Yeah, there's that stuff that we made earlier. Brady garlic butter with some good Cajun seasoning in there. That's going to be good stuff. Rub the outside of the bird with it. I'm going to put this in the fridge and give it another little rub down before I put it in the oven tomorrow. All right. That's all that's involved with prepping your bird like this way. That's it. This is going to get covered up, sit in the fridge for about till tomorrow, and then we'll cook it tomorrow around this time, around noon to 1 o'clock. it could take about three to three and a half hours to bake or roast or whatever you want to call it. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit overnight, like I said. We're going to rub it down with the same butter concoction before we put it in the oven and save it so that we can brush the skin with it after we take the blood off. So essentially it's going to be 13 minutes a pound. This is a 15 pound bird. So all right, roughly three. Here's that bird that we set up yesterday. Um, set up in the fridge overnight. It got a little juicy juice inside of it from the, the creole butter. Now we're going to do is add a little more creole butter. And yeah, I washed the syringe because it sat up overnight. This is not the same uh, dirtiness. But we did put the left, this leftover in the fridge. It's dairy in it, so you want to put it in the fridge when you're not using it, right? But we do want to just top it off a little bit from a different angle. I'm going from the top here. I'm going to back it out while I'm squirting it in. I just love when I go to cut this thing, it's got this line in there. It's beautiful. Plenty. We'll throw this away. 
I also want a salt and pepper, just salt and pepper and garlic powder. That's it. Nothing fancy here. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder. It's kind of all over that skinny skin skin. All right, I melted that compound butter. It was left over from yesterday. So we've got... Oh, crap. I got all my shirt now. Dumb, dumb. All right, go pay attention to that. Okay. This has that Cajun seasoning in it, garlic, and, you know, butter. We just melted this down. And we're going to brush this on the top. So we're not going to, once this goes in the oven, it's not going to get basted. This is its last hurrah, if you will. Or well, maybe towards the end we might put a little more butter. I don't know. We'll see how that feels. Normally I just don't, but I might this time. I don't know. I don't know how it looks. I love that you can see all that garlic in there. That's a beautiful sight. 325 for about 15 minutes a pound. This is uh, about a 15 pound bird. So three hours and what, 40, 45 minutes. And it's got the little, well, there you go. I saw a little red nugget on it. It's got the little red nugget somewhere over here. There it is right there. It's got the little nugget right there that pops up. I'll pay attention to that crap. These are set at 385 for one, which is way too warm to have a juicy turkey. It's overcooked, right? I use this nifty, cool little double probe Thermo Pro thing. Same thing I use for the smoker. Yeah. One probe in the fattest part of the breast, one probe in the side of the thigh. When I get to 375, she comes out. Typically, we just put them in and forget about it for a couple of hours. Hey, you can even make a run to the little uh, you know, quickie more and get a six pack if you want to. Eh, got three and a half hours to worry about it. Stay on a little bit. Turn the oven is pretty much what you're going to have right here. Uh, this cooked for about 10 minutes longer than the uh, math indicated it would, which is fine. But, well, we've got 175 on the breast. Uh, skin, if you can tell, that's just nice and crispy. It's beautiful. This is kind of one of those things that uh, you would see in one of those little picture books for how a turkey should look when it's done. It's actually absolutely beautiful. Uh, we didn't burn the wingtips like normally happens. Some people flip them under to prevent that. I don't. I like the way it looks when they look like they're ready to fly away. Anyway, uh, this is what we got. We are going to put this in the fridge for the night, bring this over to the families tomorrow, warm it up just a little bit, 